What's up, Cal Gang? All right, today we got some density problems. So this problem is pretty simple. It's asking on a part-time job. Uh, you bring a cylindrical iron rod, so it's iron. So I put the density of iron up there, uh, and it gives you the dimensions of it, and it asks if you're gonna need a cart to carry it. So basically we're trying to find the mass of it, and we're gonna see if we, you know, how heavy is it. Uh, so let's do that. So here we go, we have the dimensions. So we know that density is equal to mass divided by volume, so we're trying to find mass. So we're gonna to need to multiply density times volume to get the mass. So we need the volume, because we have the density, we want the mass, and we don't have the volume yet, so we can calculate the volume. So for a cylindrical thing like this, um, you're gonna to wanna to take the circle on the bottom, you're gonna find the area of it, and you're gonna multiply it by the length, right? So we're going to find the, first we're going to find the area of the circle on the bottom and we're just going to multiply it by the length. Okay, so area is equal to uh, pi radius squared and we know that its diameter is 2.85 centimeters. So we're going to need to find uh, diameter by 2 to get radius. So we're going to get area is equal to pi times radius. So we're going to need to convert that to meters. So it's going to be 0 0.0285 meters but then we're gonna divide it by two to get the radius. So this is the radius, square the radius, multiply it by pi, and you're gonna get this area. But then if you wanna find the volume, volume is gonna be equal to pi times radius, 0 0.0285 over two squared, but then times the length. So then you're gonna need to multiply that by 0 0.858 meters. We cannot use centimeters, we must use meters for this because that's the unit that density is in. So if you calculate volume, if you multiply this out, you're gonna get um, 5.47 times 10 to the negative four meters cubed, which is a very small uh, volume, but it kind of makes sense, right? It's not even a meter long and it's really thin, so it's not gonna take up much space. It's, not, it's volume's not gonna be much. But anyway, we can just go ahead and calculate this. So mass is the density that's up there. You just need to find that in your book. 7870. I found it on Google, so it might be a little different than your book. I don't know. 5.47 times 10 to the negative 4. You multiply this, you're going to get 4.31 kilograms. If you convert that to pounds, it's about 9.5 pounds. And uh, if you're a strong man like me, you can lift 9.5 pounds. Yeah. So you're not going to need in a cart to carry it. So that's the answer. There's the mass of it. I guess if you wanted it in Newtons, uh, you know that force of gravity is equal to mass times acceleration. Acceleration is gravity, so it'd be equal to the kilograms, 4.31 times 9.81. And if you do this math, you get 42.3 Newtons, depending on what, what uh, unit your book wants it in. But yeah, anyway, you can carry it, probably. Um, so yeah, good luck on your uh, physics homework, guys. Uh, stick around for some more problems.